Welcome to part three of our video series on creating a custom Minimate. You probably recognize this guy. He's been sanded now. We're ready to put his stickers on. And these are stickers, they're not decals. This is the polyester film. Just peel it back like you would any other sticker when you were a kid. You want to make sure there's nothing, no dirt or anything on them or that'll leave a big old bump in the sticker. I always line up the top of the sticker first. And then I smooth it out. No big deal. Got a back sticker for him too. These are the a modified version of the decals I made for my recent 3 inch Ultimate Hulk. Awesome Android isn't quite as strong as Hulk of course so I took out some of the detail detail in it no big bulgy, bulgy veins this time I figure this character is pretty simple so just chest and back details would be enough and his foot just fell off and now we're ready to paint him got Citadel paints today from Games Workshop Skull White, Chaos Black, Snakebite Leather First thing we are going to do is swap out his hip piece. We're going to be painting that a different color using a crappy piece here from an old custom that didn't quite work out. This way, don't worry about the paint getting in areas that it ain't supposed to. So, we're going to start with the fold around his head. I think that's what I decided to call it last time, was a fold. I don't think it's a mouth. The black Citadel paint, I've noticed, is pretty watery. I like to water down my paints to make the coats really smooth. But with the black, I don't really even have to worry about that, because it's very watery to begin with. I used to use Model Master paints, and they are still very nice paints. But I made the switch to Citadel, and I never looked back. They mix better. They're more consistent in their viscosity, if that's what you want to call it. There you go. It's a little sloppy right now, but that doesn't matter because we're going to be painting over it anyway. So, now it's time to mix some paint and match this gray color. Got a tray here from a Minimates package. They make great paint trays. Put a little white in here. Now once again the black is so watered down to begin with that I'm not going to need to water these down any extra today. You know just looking at this gray right now it looks like there's a little bit of blue in it. I really want to get this matched exactly so I'm going to go grab my blue paint. All right, now I've got some enchanted blue and snot green. Just in case there's green in there too, it's hard to tell. That's the tough thing about mixing paint colors when you're making mini mates is you never know if you're gonna be able to use the paint right out of the bottle or not. Most times I found that you can't. When you do, you feel so damn lucky. It's like you won the lottery. Yeah, I think that little bit of blue helped out. So this is what I do when I'm mixing paint. I just keep adding a drop of one and a drop of another. And as long as you have a good light source, like this lamp here, <clears throat> when you compare it to your Mini Mate, you're fine. Citadel paint dries at the exact same color that you see there. This is another difference from Model Masters, which dries just a tiny bit darker. All right, I'm gonna paint underneath his head first. Then I can tilt his head all around and not worry about smearing the paint. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to try and just get by with one coat of paint on this guy. But normally I do two or three. Two or three thin coats 
nice and thin so you don't see any brush strokes or drop marks. That's the ticket. The brushes I'm using are made with animal hair, they're not synthetic. This means that they hold more paint. You can paint longer each time without having to reload. If I do water down these paints, for a while there I was using acrylic paint thinner. But then during the customizing chat that I had on the multiverse, I think it was Minimite who told me that I didn't actually need to buy that expensive acrylic paint thinner, that just plain old water works fine. I tried it out and sure enough he was right. With the Model Masters, water didn't work as well. This paint's looking a little too dark. Once I actually see it on him here. Add a little more white into the mix. Paint over what I just did. It's going to mix in a little bit, but that's okay. And we're back. My camera ran out of memory. I just kept painting away, chatting away, didn't even know that the camera wasn't going. So all that you missed was I finished painting the head and I painted the hands and feet. You still got that crappy hip piece in there. The good hip piece is right here on a set of crappy legs. And we are going to paint this now. I've got some snake bite leather here like I mentioned before. I just want to see the color on the tray before I decide if I'm going to paint it directly on the mini mate like this or if I'm going to change the color a little bit. Let's get a good amount of it on here so I don't have to mix it again. What do you guys think? Does that look right? Ah, it looks good. Let's paint it. And the reason that my camera ran out of memory is it looks like my two-year-old son got a hold of the camera and took 800 pictures of the wall. 800. I mean, I don't even know how much time it takes to take 800 pictures of a wall. Must have taken him a long freaking time. So I had to go get rid of all that stuff before I could come back here and finish this fine video. One of the things I was saying was that I just got word from the manufacturer that they are discontinuing this new sticker paper that I fell in love with. Just a few short months after I start using it and they discontinue it on me. Apparently there's a different product I can try. That's similar. So I'll let you know how it goes. The manufacturer was nice enough to contact me personally. He's not a really a Minimate fan, but he still checks on the blog every once in a while just to see what I'm up to. So it was nice of him to give me a heads up that the paper was being discontinued and offering me a replacement. So there we go. There's the hip piece. We are going to let this stuff dry and then we'll come back and put it all together. Alright, he is all dry and he is the awesome android that he is. So let's go out in the garage and spray him with some clear coat. Alright, I usually just put them on an old piece of cardboard here on the garage floor. Got my Tamiya brand clear matte finish spray paint. I've already pre-shaken it, so you don't have to hear my incessant shaking of the can. So what I'm going to do is hold the nozzle about a foot away from this guy, give him a quick blast, and then we'll be done. That's all it takes. 
now he's pretty much finished. We just gotta let him dry. I've noticed in looking at the video that the, the glossy chest sticker picks up more of the light than it does in real life. Uh, just with my own eyes, it matches the color of the rest of it just fine, but the, I guess it's that glossy finish. Hopefully once he dries up here, that'll clear up. And that's it for this video. I'll show you a still shot I took of him after this. And tune in next time.